Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I heart Aries, my name is Chelsea and this is the channel where we do all Aries readings. And today we're gonna take a look here and see what do you need to know within your love life around uh, your romantic uh, situation. This is probably going to be very specific. I just wanna say that because the energy that I was pulling around this, it was coming up with a very specific uh, reading. Um, the computer cut off, so I just had to sage and just start over because I feel like it cut off because of the energy from the last time I did the reading. I don't know. It got cold, but welcome. Anyway, welcome to this reading, Aries. So before I get started, I just want to let you know that I love you guys <laughs> and thank you so much. Thank you so much for inquiring about the personal readings. I only have three spots available now three spots left i'm only doing personal phone readings for the first half of january after that i will be doing i will start to offer video readings but they're going to be 15 minute celtic crosses on specific situations it's only 30 dollars, and there was those will be a limited um availability as well so but right now only three more spots available for phone readings and then i'm booked look at this little cute find i found in Barnes and Nobles. Me and my son live in Barnes and Nobles, but look at that. Oh my gosh, so cute. So anyways, um, and thank you, Elisa, as well. I'm using my mug, pugs and mugs. That's, can't go wrong there. Anyway, so if you would like a personal reading, if they haven't filled up by now, and I will change it in the description box that they are closed once they fill up, you can email me at ariesoulguidance222 at gmail.com. If you missed out on one of those personal readings, I do have a link to Mystic Sense in my description box with a discount code that you can receive a phone reading there, okay? So let's get started. Let's see what's going to happen here. Holy Spirit, Spirit guys, and angels, please allow me to deliver a clear message here for the Aries Collective. Please allow me to deliver a clear message here for the Aries Collective. What do they need to know? What does Aries 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 need to know in their situation? Mystic Goddess Confessions. It always freaks me out when this happens. <laughs> oh, I still get freaked out. I know it's my gift, but I still get freaked out by it. Like, oh, let's, let's get into it, okay? Because I was like, oh, God, if the reading was meant for it, it will come out. So it came out in a specific message. So we got intentional pregnancy. Intentional pregnancy, planned pregnancy, sex with intentions of conceiving a child. This is the very first card that came out before this cut off. And I just said, you know what? Fuck it. I'm not, I'm not doing a part two and all of this because the mess, some people don't find the part two. They don't find the message. Here it is. It's out. All right. Anyways, <laughs> let's, uh, let's get into this. I almost feel like I almost feel like spirit wants me to put out the same cards that were out. But I'm going to just I'm going to just go. I'm just going to pull and see if they come out again. All right? So let's take a look. Holy Spirit, spirit guys and angels, please allow me to deliver a clear message here for the Aries collective. So I will say this, what came out previously out of this deck was past life connection, past life soulmate, whatever that card is. So Maybe spirit will add more to it or it'll re reaffirm it. I don't know. So we got new love, new love in reverse that came out. This could have been a new person, new lover, new love is on the way, but not just yet. Um, let's pull from this deck. What's happening here for air? The fact that new love came in reverse is one or two things. Either... The new love is coming in and it's not talking about the person with the intentional pregnancy or it's just, um, yeah, same thing. It hasn't come in just yet. Okay. 
Give us one card here for Aries. Sun, moon, Venus, and rising. Yes, yes, the new love is somebody different. You got, you deserve better dating down. You deserve better dating down. Give us two cards out of here for Aries. Sun, moon, Venus, and rising. You deserve better dating down. We got workaholic that wanted to flip out. Destiny. And quest. Quest came in reverse. Destiny. Searching for your purpose, your destiny. Something is faded. Something is faded. Let me pull from the Hidden Truth Oracle. Holy Spirit, speakers and angels, we see here the Hidden Truth Oracle. What do we have here for Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising? It says, I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. I am grateful for the spiritual lesson, Aries. A few other cards came out, but I'm not going to take them all. I lost myself for a little while. I hid who I re really am from you, and I left you before you could leave me, and I don't react when people mention you. At the bottom of this deck, it says ST, beware, sexually or spiritually transmitted disease. And then at the bottom of this one, it says, you're the only one I want to spend the rest of my life with. Direct message to you from this person's energy, and I'm addicted to having sex with you. Direct message to you from this person's energy, and underneath that is karmic. So let's get into this. I'm going to pull three cards. And these three cards are just going to give us a little bit of background about this situation. And then I'm going to go into the Celtic cross. I actually, I'm going to pull six because I'm going to pull three for the background of the situation. So you know this is your reading. And I'll pull another three for the background of the person that we are spirits talking about here. Let's take a look here for Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Tell us here the little background about this situation. Queen of Cups. Three of Swords and the Eight of Cups. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Three of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And the Eight of Cups, more water energy here. Somebody had to walk away from somebody that they love, period, and it broke their heart. You had to walk away from it. You had to disconnect on an emotional level because you knew that you were never going to get what you needed out of the situation. Look at that. From the Eight of Cups, you literally walk away from Eight of Cups to go find your Nine of Cups and Nine of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. Somebody had a lot of love for someone and they had to walk away from them because of all of the swords that were going through their heart. They were stabbing them in the front, not even the back. Tell me about um, this person that Aries may have dealt with. You may have had to go off and find yourself. I'm seeing here with Quest and Destiny. Um, lovers, King of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. That's what came out with the last time I pulled the card, the Wheel of Fortune. This is a karmic situation and not karmic in the sense of, oh, it's a bad person. It's, just, it's, a, it's a karmic because I'm telling you the other card that came out was past life. There was some sort of karma or a lesson that needed to be cleared up in this lifetime with you and this person, Aries. It feels like with intentional pregnancy that somebody may have gotten someone else pregnant. It's like one or two things this could represent. Somebody could have gotten someone else pregnant previously, right? And they started a family with this person. And I was getting before that the family that they started with this person, they only went to this person because it was easier. It was easier to them at the time, but they realized when they did that, they stunted their growth, meaning they didn't do what they came to this earth to do. They didn't do the lessons or go through the lessons that they were supposed to, because maybe the fear of being with you and being connected to you was really frightening. And it could be that way when you got this lover's energy, when you connect to somebody on a very deep spiritual soul level, it could be frightening. And you got the will of fortune here. It means that something was faded. It was somebody's destiny, but I'm seeing here with the king of wands, very lusty, lustful type of energy. I also want to say this, somebody here who kind of, you know, does what they want. They're the leader of the show, maybe very much in their ego too, Aries. So let's get into this Celtic cross and see what's going on here. <clears throat> Holy Spirit, Jesus, angels, come to me through the clear message here to the Aries. 
Thank you so much. What is the situation about here for Aries? The Nine of Cups. There it is. The situation is about someone finding their wish fulfillment. What emotionally fulfills you? What you may, you may not was getting out of someone else. Because I'm even seeing the Seven of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Something was an illusion or somebody fell for an illusion. I'm also getting here somebody receiving a Nine of Cups. An emotional fulfillment, contentment. I feel like it's connected to this, you deserve better, dating down, new love. Tell me what the challenge is here. The Knight of Cups, the Knight of Cups. The challenge here is that somebody was an um, emotionally, they were fickle. The emotions were in and out. Maybe I'm hearing the phrase chasing skirts. Doesn't mean that it's just a man. It could be a woman too. But somebody, because a, a lot of women are like this, especially today. It's like a lot of women will, it's the same thing as men. They mirror men where they don't want to be emotionally connected to a person. Even though they're feeling the emotions, they don't want to allow them to set themselves to be emotionally connected to someone. So they want to be like a player or a pimp. Ladies are players and pimps too. You know, the whole shit. So, but the thing is, it's like they're doing this. And they're running away from something or multiple things that could have been really been love. With the Knight of Cups energy here, I'm seeing the challenge, Aries, is that there was some sort of love bomber or somebody here who wouldn't allow certain emotions to grow and progress. With the Five of Pentacles here, it's like somebody bailed out when it got too deep, when it got too real. Now, that could be you or that could be the person that you were dealing with or dealt with. What does Spirit want you to focus on right now, Aries? the star healing and releasing um i'm feeling like it's kind of the situation where because i'm seeing the ten of swords in my mind's eye so there could have been a very painful ending this also could be talking about a wish fulfillment a destiny like of some sort here something that you've been praying for something that you've been hoping for wishing for Definitely could have to do with healing. Tell me about what happened in the past here. Five of Wands in reverse. There was some sort of conflict or drama that you dodged a bullet from or you went through. You got through it. You overcame it. Somebody could have put you in a situation where there was drama, competition, um, a third party. Tell us about what's crowning Aries. Eight of Swords. So... There's something here where it's going to put you in the mind state where you're going to feel like you're unable to make a decision or move forward. You're feeling stuck, contemplating something to the point where it is crippling you. This could be self-sabotage. Tell us about what's coming towards Aries in the near future. The high priestess. Your intuition is revealing something to you, Aries. You could be receiving some sort of spiritual download or new direction to move in. This could also be secrets being revealed. Tell us about the energy Aries is in with this. The world card, completion. I just saw 1333. So you are completing a cycle. Okay, you are completing a cycle and it's 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 for your highest good. It's for your higher good. So you you are going to be being led by your intuition or your spirit guides with the high priestess. And I'm seeing the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. In your environment, I knew I saw the Ten of Swords. In your environment, the Ten of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Whoever is around you, whoever possibly did this is stressing or was in a very stressful energy where they couldn't sleep, they couldn't eat. I want to say in the Ten of Swords, it's like they're down bad hurt. Ten of Swords. They, they, this could sounds like the energy of where somebody else did the betraying, but they betrayed themselves. Like they literally betrayed themselves by hurting you and they are feeling the pain. I would go as far to say this, Aries. If somebody hurts you in a situation, they feel more pain than they inflicted on you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like somebody could have betrayed you, did something bad to you, hurt you, had you boohoo crying, not getting over a situation for months to a year. And to this day, they still feel more pain. And if this is coming in the future, they will feel more pain 
than you thought that you could even feel. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you thought like you were hurt, you were crippled, but what you don't know is, because this is around you, is that they're feeling more pain, mental pain, anguish here with the nine of swords and the 10 of swords. Yep. <laughs> Seven of Swords here, Aries. I feel like you want the truth. Seven of Swords is coming in the hopes and fears. You don't want to be lied to anymore. You don't want to be played with anymore. And I feel like there's a situation where you want the truth because the High Priestess talks about secrets being revealed. And then over here in your hopes and fears position, you got the Seven of Swords. Tell me about the outcome here in this situation for Aries. You got the Knight of Swords and you just might get it. Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck. There might be some information that comes towards you very quickly. I feel like it's just going to clear something up, but there's more to this. I'm seeing a lot of Swords energy. I'm seeing a lot of Aquarius energy as well. Pisces energy is what we have here. Um, let's clarify this. Seven of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. Somebody was sneaking off to a third party. And I feel like they did something to where they cannot take it back. Like they, it's irreversible, i.e. the intention of pregnancy. Now, not everybody was an intentional pregnancy. I do feel like some people, they had a situation where somebody ran from them because the connection was very strong. It says, I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson. Like somebody know, like, let me tell you something. We all know when we go through that dark night of the soul or when spirit gets a hold of our ass and really has to drag us and teach us a lesson, it is not easy. And a lot of times those lessons come through denial. I know for me, when something, when I'm not getting a lesson and I have to keep going through something and repetitively, thank God for growth, because I don't do that too much anymore. I listen because I've got my ass handed to me in the past by spirit. You know what I'm saying? When you know. You keep repeating the same mistake over and over again. Spirit don't play. It's like, especially if it's wanting you to ascend and wanting you to grow and you're repeatedly not doing it. You ever dealt with people like that? And you're just like, damn, like you don't see the pattern in your life. That's, I feel like that's what this situation is with somebody that you dealt with. Like you don't see that you keep fucking people over and spirits like they're not playing with you. You need to stop doing that. Tell us about the high priestess and the future position for Aries. Six of swords. The six of swords came out. There is something that is being revealed to you that's going to bring in more peace. Tell me about this high priestess. Page of wands. It's a message. It's communication. It could be from a friend. This third, it could be from a third party, but not the third party like you think, not like somebody that cheated on somebody, like somebody who's just external to the situation. Somebody's going to come and clear something up for you. Tell me about the high priestess and the six of swords and the page of wands, king of cups, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Somebody could have great love for you. This person could just be very emotionally grounded themselves, so you can definitely trust them. Tell me about the high priestess here and the ten of pentacles. I'm also seeing this is where this new love comes in. So it's telling me a lot about in the future. It's multiple things. It's like somebody's coming in Aries to clear something up, to give you some sort of message or communication. I'm also seeing somebody come towards you here who's going to be very emotionally grounded, stable, and secure. You're going to feel connected to this person before anything even really happens or takes off. It's going to be like one of those knowings with the high priestess here. Okay. And this is the 10 of pentacles here. It's going to lead to some sort of stable, secure, emotional relationship and connection. Tell us about the nine of cups here for Aries. The six of pentacles. Tell me about the nine of cups. And the three of wands. This feels like something that you've been waiting for, a manifestation to come in, something that you deserve. Yep. The empress came out. Because of your healing and your growth, your elevation, six of pentacles can upright. It's like a blessing. It's like you're finally getting back what you've put out. And that could be like in a relationship. I'm seeing the four of wands at the bottom of the deck. Like you've always been a giver. You've always been very generous or shit. You've just been a person who was committed to a relationship and you never got anybody 
who was committed to you as you were committed to them. It seems like with some healing and growth, you're going to be receiving that. It's like the weight is over because it's the nine of cups. Yeah. Six of wands. These are all very good cards here of what's coming into you and what's happening. Okay. I'm feeling like even through this healing, your confidence is going to be elevated. Sometimes you got to be broken down to be built back up. And I feel like that's the situation that you went through. You're going to be moving differently. Tell us about the Knight of Swords and the outcome. The world card. Something is coming towards you and it's going to help close out a cycle. Queen of Wands, you're getting information or communication. Justice, could it be from another woman or a third party or another man? Could be. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. It feels like the Fool card. Whatever it is, honey, let me tell you this. It feels like information coming in. Information that closes out a cycle. And then you got the Fool card here that allows you to new begin a new one. But you also got the Justice here and the Queen of Wands. So there's a balancing of energies. There's something here where a, a wrong is righted. And your energy is presenting as the world card as well. So you got the world card twice. That you just want something to be over and done with at this point. And that this is probably something that's been a long time coming. Tell me about the world card here for Aries. Eight of Wands, communication, positive energy messages coming through, downloads. And there you are in your own energy. The Emperor having full control and Two of Cups fell out. Being emotionally grounded, being wiser is what I'm hearing because you've been through something that was very hurtful. You got a soulmate coming in. You do have new love coming in. It came here in reverse because I feel like it's not quite here, but it's coming in. I feel like spirit just wanted to highlight this situation here that you had a twin flame or have a twin flame or I don't even want to use that term. It was like a soulmate that you had some sort of karmic contract with that you were supposed to be with in this lifetime. And maybe you were for a little while, but what was supposed to be accomplished between you two was not able to be accomplished because somebody ran away from the connection. They were afraid of the intensity of the connection because it was destined. It was very strong. And honestly, it was supposed to be a gift. It was supposed to be a gift, but somebody just didn't. And I want to say there could have been self-esteem issues maybe that played a part. Maybe somebody thought they were too good for somebody or somebody thought they weren't good enough to be with somebody because I'm getting, I'm getting this, you deserve. Okay, so this is what I'm also getting here is that, okay, so in the sense here, somebody played themselves. And I'm not trying to be funny. It's just like, Somebody, it was almost like God giving somebody one more chance to do right. And like you were the blessing. Okay. And I'm not trying to boost your ego or anything like that, Aries, because it could be vice versa. It could be vice versa. It's like somebody was the blessing. And when somebody had their blessing in front of them, it was like, it was almost like it was too good to be true. It was too good to be true for somebody. And somebody shitted on somebody that was supposed to be the blessing. And I'm not just saying the other person was the blessing. I'm just saying the joining of two souls that meet on an energetic level of frequency that just got each other was the blessing. I'm not putting one or the other above anybody. I'm just saying when you two met, that was the blessing. And there was one person that just couldn't believe that they were being blessed, you know, that they, that this connection was real, that there was this very intense, strong connection and it felt good and it was healing and it was amazing. And they're saying, you know what? No way. This has to be fake. This has to be a joke. This has to be whatever. You know what I'm saying? And so they really shitted on you and vice versa, whoever. Somebody shitted on somebody and they could have gotten somebody else pregnant. They could have started another family. They could have completely discarded you and got married to somebody else or whatever, but it's showing intentional pregnancy. And I feel like it may not have been intentional from your person, but it could have been intentional from somebody else. But anyways, it's another story. It's another chapter. And I, that, that only explains this energy here that's surrounding you with the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Swords. Somebody knows they ultimately fucked up. They ended something that cannot be reversed. And I feel like areas that you're in a place or you will be in a place where you are closing this chapter, you're closing the cycle. Like you're just, you went through the pain, you went through the hurt, you went through the healing, 
You know, you're going through this dark night of the soul and you're finding yourself. You found yourself through this situation and now you're on the other side and things are happening for you and new love is coming in. I'm seeing the two of cups and the lovers all over this reading. You know, it's coming in for you and you just have to know that your intuition is leading you to this person here who you're supposed to be in a committed relationship with, who is going to be emotionally grounded who is going to recognize you, recognize your worth. I didn't even realize this, but in your energy was the emperor. And what came out that's coming towards you is the empress, whether you're male or female. This is your wish fulfillment. This is what you've been praying for. You've been praying for someone who is going to see you and recognize that that is my person when they see you versus having other people in the past see you and not recognizing the gift that you truly are right? And you were trying to force other people to realize your light. But see, that's the thing when we're talking about in spiritual and energy, sometimes that is your protection. We hear it all the time. Rejection is protection that certain people can't see the light being that you are. There's literally this veil in front of them. Why? Because if they could see who you really were, they would use you. Their intentions wouldn't be pure. Even if it was the person that you were supposed to be with, if their heart is not in the right place and not in alignment to receive the gift and blessing that you are, there's going to be a veil. And guess what they're going to do? They're going to fuck over you. And yeah, you're going to be heard about it. But honestly, the first time they do it was your key to leave. But you didn't because you keep giving the person chance and chance and chance again. But the reason why you do that is why? Because you're forgiving and you want this work and you feel that it's something real. But you always got to take that first thing that happens as a sign that, wow, they don't see my worth. And when some that somebody doesn't see your worth, that is your sign to walk away, okay? <laughs> that is your sign to walk away because if you don't walk away again, Guess what's going to happen? You're going to get hurt again. You're going to get hurt again. And you're taking it as punishment. You're taking it as, damn, nothing ever works out for me. That's really, rejection is protection. You know, somebody is rejecting you over and over again. That's your spirit guy saying, get away from that. They don't see you. I think a lot of people go through a lot of damage because they continue to try to make their lover see them. And if they don't see you, that means they're not supposed to. All right, because it does seem like somebody else with this high priestess is going to see you on a spiritual level. They're going to see you and recognize, oh, there they are. You know what I'm saying? There they are. And I'm even seeing somebody like recognize somebody through their voice. So I don't know why that's, oh, I saw something. Okay. All right. So we're going to close the reading out right there. All right. You guys take care.